Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your tarot card reading for July 2023. Feel free to take with you whatever messages resonate and leave behind for others whatever does not. Once I lay out the cards, I'll identify their positions, go through their meanings, do some clarifications, and at the end of the reading, I'll close off with a couple of oracle cards to see how this month impacts your love life and career. So first of all, we see what is presenting itself this month. You have the death card. We also take a look at the past influences. You've got the two of cups. Third, we look at what can weigh you down. You have the knight of pentacles. Here in the middle, we look at what can lift you up. You have the ten of cups. Fifth, we explore what it is that you want. You have the queen of wands. And finally, we see something you don't yet know that you need. And here we have the nine of pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, the influencing energy of this reading, we have the five of pentacles. So either feeling that um, you don't have enough of something in the material world, you don't have a sense of the financial security that uh, you want or someone expects, and you know perhaps uh, looking at what you don't have and the problems and the injuries as opposed to uh, looking at what can be done and what's you know ahead so here this month you're dealing with loss transformations uh changes and choices so here it's kind of you know you can either um kind of cut things cleanly it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be easy or it's not going to be hard or it's not going to be emotional but uh, cutting things off cleaning cleanly can really help you to move forward uh, without things pulling you back so let's see what we have here with this death card we have the world so opportunity for you to close some um close some doors and open new ones all the way around. Uh, there's going to be, you know, lessons that you're learning here that are going to set you up for your, your next journey. This could be uh, in love or any type of relationship in general. We have here the Two of Cups as the past influence. So some type of, you know, some type of relationship where there was a mutual understanding um you know perhaps that is what is kind of facilitating this potential change or there is um a loss of that connection so let's take a look at the two of cups we have the hermit uh that is more about withdrawing and being alone and um kind of being on your own on your own path and journey so for some of you it could be you know potential of a relationship that didn't manifest or it was an actual relationship that kind of ended so here let's take a look at what's weighing you down you have the knight of pentacles knight of pentacles is someone who just keeps moving forward and does the hard work um, and is dedicated to uh, getting tasks done you know staying on schedule following the plan so it could be that um you know for some of you where there is um this has to do with like actual finances you know perhaps this was a uh, potential for a certain type of job that you thought you were gonna love and um that didn't really end up up the way you wanted so now you have to kind of get a job that like pays pays the bills um maybe you need to set set up some type of financial planning um a good time to do that would be around july 17th where there is uh, a new moon in cancer it's where you can kind of set new um set new goals 
kind of start new plans of actions, do work with accounting, because for you, this new moon occurs in the eighth house of like transformations, uh, death cards, transformation, sex, life, death, other people's money, inheritances. Uh, so that's kind of where this new moon is uh, going to have the most impact. So starting something new when it has to do with those types of things, to keeping track of money. Um, let's go ahead and clarify this Knight of Pentacles. And for others of you, this could just be, you know, moving forward in your day to day when you're really kind of feeling a sense of loss. So let's take a look here. We have the Justice card. So looks weighing you down is kind of like th with this Knight of Pentacles, uh, a sense of kind of fairness and balance and doing what's right for whatever reason. That's it's almost like being an adult and do like you know doing what's right, doing what you need to do is kind of weighing you down here this is what you want the queen of wands um it could be that you know with this fiery queen of wands here it's more consistent with sagittarius being someone who is uh adventurous and likes to travel and like up for um up for you know something new so instead of like you know being practical and a objective and doing what's right it's not necessarily that these are opposed but um with this queen of wands it's almost more following your passion as opposed to you know sticking to a plan so let's see about what's going on with this queen of wands you have the queen of wands here so you really want to kind of embrace that more uh outgoing energetic making you know like making things happen so kind of doing what's practical, doing what's expected of you, doing what almost you need to do to get by, it's kind of weighing you down. But here with the Ten of Cups, that is what lifts you up. So being with those that your friends, your family, maybe not necessarily um, you know, putting in a lot of energy into it, not necessarily making that happen, but just allowing yourself to share your ups and downs with the people that you care about can lift you up. So let's take a look at this Ten of Cups here. We have here the Emperor. So it's almost as if the people that care about you, the people that uh, you consider your friends, your family, they can help you to kind of of find that structure and routine that you know can help you move forward a little bit easier whether it's finances or life in general or love but here what you do not yet know that you need you've got the nine of pentacles here and this is a recognizing and enjoying the uh, success of your hard work you know enjoying those rewards so being more uh independent and creating the life that you know you you want to live in the material world so it's almost like kind of take a look at you know this as the potential or the goal or one of the goals as opposed to focusing on what you don't have or you know what you think you need so let's take a look at the nine of pentacles you have here the moon so there could be like a sense of uh self-doubt or fear also you know it's basically it could be telling you to trust your intuition um a bit more you know if if you are wanting to really tap into that passion of the queen of wands that really follows you know desires of the heart then here follow your intuition like kind of what what pulls you um and you know there's also a full moon on july 3rd in the sign of capricorn capricorn is more um 
more focused on hard work is very much like the Knight of Pentacles, uh, focused on hard work, practical, dedicated, getting things done. So perhaps take some time during that full moon to, um, you know, to kind of release whatever isn't working for you. Perhaps, you know, that release is what that focus is for your month. Um, you know, release whatever isn't working for you. Um, things will kind of reveal itself. Um, whatever it is emotionally that you're holding on to, it might reveal itself during that time so that when the new moon comes around on July 17th, you can kind of start, uh, well, as it approaches on July 17th, then you can kind of you know, start paying more attention to your uh, intuition when it comes to like finances and planning for your future and having that sense of like structure and stability. So Sagittarius, I'm going to close off with wisdom of the Oracle for messages about how this all influences your love life and your career. So let's see what we have for your for your love life. We have this between worlds card. And let's take a look at how this influences your career. We have this to the sea card. Okay. So when it comes to your love life, um, something needs to be released here with this death card. Something needs to be let go of in order to kind of close off that journey and start on a new one. And so it could be that um, you'll be between worlds for a bit. And here, it's kind of a time for you to look at things you know, through the best possible lens. Um, you can see here it's gray and here's colorful. So there's an opportunity for you to kind of like look at the glass as half full or half empty. Um, and should you choose to look at life as like a playground of potential um, dreams coming true and looking at the world with a sense of like wonder, excitement, overall positivity and what you can accomplish as opposed to something that's bleak and dark and, you know, filled with things that you don't quite have, then, you know, you could have like an amazing, bright, like flourishing love life. It could be that way now and it could be even better. So when it comes to your career in this to the sea, um, it's also a need to kind of like let things go and let things flow. So kind of holding on to things from the past that don't serve you, they're just going to keep you stuck and stagnant. But kind of, um, you know, letting things go that don't serve you and maybe um, having new plans of action, setting up uh, new like financial plans, um, finding out ways to um, make your money stretch like that could open up more happiness and more doorways for you to explore when it comes to career potential and opportunities. So Sagittarius, I hope this reading provides a helpful perspective of your month. We'll see you next time. Take care.